Hi everyone, I'm Nishad Rao, a product marketing engineer here at Auster. In this video, I will show you the ease at which you can install Auster Python SDK on your computer to visualize a live sensor or playback pre-recorded sample data on your computer. I'll be using an Ubuntu 20.04 for this demo, but if you're running a Mac OS or a Windows system, it's completely okay because I, Python SDK is compatible with all three platforms. The only prerequisite we have is you need to have Python 3.6 and above to use the SDK tool uh, and know the basics of how to activate a virtual environment or download other packages that you might need to use different features that we offer. So on my computer screen, you can see uh, I'm on ouster.com. That's our website. And um, we have a couple of different tabs. Let's go to the downloads tab. Under downloads, we have like all the supporting guides from hardware, firmware, API, or thermal integration guide that you might need to integrate our sensor with any technology that you're working on. So coming to the Auster SDK package, you should see that being the first option under developer tools and a link next to it. Let's go ahead and click that link and you will see it opens up the Auster SDK 0.4.1 version for uh, the, that's the latest and the greatest version we have right now. I would request you all to keep a track of this, making sure that every time we have a new firmware version, we update our SDK as well to give you access to all the features that we have released. Uh, we can go ahead and click on pip, in, uh, pip install ouster sdk and open the terminal. As you can see, I'm currently already on my virtual environment. And I will go ahead and paste the pip install command. That's pip install ouster sdk and hit enter. And you'll see it'll go ahead and collect all the required packages and it'll install them and it will give me a successfully installed all the required packages that I need. You can verify that you have the ouster sdk by giving a command called pip list. And that's exactly what you'll see here. So we're good to go, right? So that's basically installing the package. It probably takes you less than 20 seconds to do that. Um, and the next step you want to do is make sure you're all set to go with the sensor. Uh, so if you watch the first episode, we show you like an out of the box experience of how you get the sensor out, make all the connections and set up your network uh, so that you can access the Auster web page. So this is basically the Auster web page or rather say the Auster dashboard. Uh, the way you can get here, if you did not watch the first episode, it's totally okay. I'll give you a quick overview right now. So you can access this uh, by giving the command HTTP colon dash dash and the sensor serial number, which is available on top of the sensor. So it's basically, in this case, it's OS dash sensor serial number dot local and forward hash. So the sensor dashboard or the Auster dashboard gives you all the information that you need such as the system information, you have the firmware current version and in case you want to update your firmware, this is the place to do it. You have the system status, it gives you all the alerts and the status of your sensor, whether it's running or is it in standby mode or if there's a fault, you get all that information here under alerts or on the diagnostics page. You can also access it here or you can access it by going to this tab up top. Then you also have the configuration, which basically gives you the highlight of all the different mode um, that are required or modes and profiles or setup that your sensor is currently on. For example, it's running on 1024, which is the resolution and number of frames, uh, 10 frames. That's uh, basically the one that's it, one it's running on currently. Uh, it's um, set up with signal multiplier on one. Uh, it's recording data 360 degrees. That's why it has zero to 360 as the azimuth window. And the UDP profile is range, reflectivity, signal, NIR, and dual, which is dual returns. You can choose to uh, choose other profiles. And the way you can do that is by going to the configuration mode uh, or the configuration tab and all these different parameters that you can change. So the most important one for this demo is the UDP destination address. Always make sure to hit set local making sure that the IP address you see on stage is activated or it goes to active. The way you do that is by just clicking set local and hitting apply config. Once you do that, you're all set to go. So let's go back to the terminal. And in terminal, the easiest, the most um, 
I think the simple command to visualize your sensor using Alistair Python SDK is simple viz. Yes, it's that simple. It's simple dash viz dash dash help. It gives you all the usage arguments that you need to visualize a live sensor or playback pre-recorded sample data. As you can see, as I'm highlighting right now, this is the only argument that you would need to do these. So for example, let's go ahead and visualize the sensor now. So it's simple dash this dash dash sensor and the host name as you can see here, that, that's what it requires. Now there are two places you can find the host name. One, like I said, on the serial number that's basically on top of the sensor or on the ouster dashboard that is right here, the host name, right? So now you can either copy and paste it or if you can read it through or just remember it, like it's OS dash 992215526 dot local, which is mine. Uh, make sure you always have dot local in the end Unless you can also use your IP address instead of the whole host name, you can also use your IP address and then hit enter. And then it'll configure the sensor, initialize. It probably takes about five or 10 seconds and you'll see another window pop up with the entire point cloud that's generated from this sensor. As you can see, um, it's doing the initialization and boom, you are now ready to go with the point cloud. So that's the 3D point cloud that's created. I'm right here, you can see my arms, yep, there you go. And you're all set with visualizing a live sensor. Now, if you focus on the left bottom corner, you see all these different information that it gives the user while giving a live visualization, like the image that you see on the 2D uh, part of this point cloud, that's the two frames on top, and then you have the 3D point cloud, uh, where it's currently range, you can use different shortcut keys, which is available on our documentation to change it from like range to signal to reflectivity to near IR. And you have the sensor time, you have the profile it's currently running on, the, the type of sensor that's OS 0, 128, uh, and the uh, resolution 1024, 10, and the firmware version 2.3.1. All this information right here ready for you to go so that you don't have to use or open any other tabs. So that's how simple it is to visualize a live sensor using Auster Python SDK. Now, let's say you have downloaded uh, PCAPs, that is basically the file type of pre-recorded sample data. There are two ways you can do that. Either you get it from one of our sales representative or you can download a lot of different um, sample data from our Auster website. That's basically under downloads, you scroll down and you have ouster sample data. Once you do this, it will go ahead and um, prompt a new screen with get sample data. You will need to fill out your email address, your name, company name. This is basically giving us um, like information of the users and the use cases, which are which will help us uh, understand how we can improvise our sample data collection, right? So once you do this and hit submit, It'll go ahead and give you the repository of all the sample data that we have. You can see we have OS0, OS1, OS2. It's short range, mid range, and long range sensors. And we have data for all different resolution types or different channels. We have 128 channel, we have 64 channel, we have 32 channel, right? We have a lot more sample data. Feel free to contact us if you're looking for a particular kind of sample data and we are most, we, we would be, um, supporting you and making sure that you have everything you need, right? So let's scroll up back and let's go ahead and download the 128 channel that's dual returns for OS1. Click download and it will take you to a screen with uh, a visualizer. Yes, I said that right. You have a visualizer here already, so you can go ahead and visualize it and use this um, visualizer that we have by clicking play. but let me go back to the Python SDK that we were talking about, right? So for that on top right corner, you will click on download and download both the meta file and the pcap file, right? Now I already downloaded this for this video and I have it saved on my desktop. So going back here, I will go ahead and click like ls, that's giving me a list of all the files I have under that folder. 
So as you can see, I have both the PCAP and the JSON file ready to um, show you guys. So when you normally download it, it's probably downloaded in your download. So make sure you copy and pay, paste it in the right folder wherever you are on your terminal. And again, back to simple wiz. Yes, that's right. It's just that it's simple dash wiz space dash dash help. It's again going to give you like prompt you the usage, the arguments that you need to visualize the data. It's very simple. It's simple dash wiz space dash dash pcap. Yes, and then you have the pcap file that's os dash one dash 128 and the file version the resolution and you have uh, you just follow the file name right that's dash 000 dot pcap and then dash dash meta space again os dash one and it'll fill it up for you perfect now that's the command and make sure that the command ex or, or the letters that you type or exactly as per the file name because it is case sensitive. And then once you're ready, hit enter and boom, here you go. You just played back a pre-recorded sample data. This video is taken in San Francisco. So yes, enjoy the beautiful video taken uh, on Mission Street. And here again, you can see the 2D frames on top. You can see all the parameters here on the bottom left corner. Uh, it's very easy to use. It's like gaming. You can zoom in and zoom out with uh, two fingers on the touchpad. Uh, you can rotate it to 360 degrees. Um, it's it's like XYZ are completely aligned. You don't have to worry. It's not like um, other visualizers where you're completely lost. So it's very easy to use. So if you have any questions with these, please feel free to comment below. We would be We would be happy to answer them all. Um, if you have certain different troubleshooting guides or supporting guides that you would like to see, please comment those too. We can make a video and we can help you guys uh, resolve those issues faster and better. So thank you for joining me on this video. Hope you had a good time, understood how you can use Ouster Python SDK. Thank you.